What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm obviously up on my roof uh, and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be installing some solar powered fans, uh, attic vent fans on my roof now. Um, what, I'm not interested in paying 300 plus dollars for a ready-made solution. Okay this is the setup that I've been testing now for a couple months. Um, we have a 10 watt solar panel um, which goes into a charge controller. This is just a cheap basic charge controller although it does have low voltage disconnect and some some pretty decent features on it. And then um, uh, which charges this battery. This is a I believe 8 amp hour battery. Um, and then from there we are powering through a thermostat this fan. This is a 200 millimeter computer fan, computer case fan. Um, may or may not give me enough um, cubic feet per minute for this application, but it does what it does do. The computer fans are great because they don't use a ton of voltage, uh, a ton of amperage actually. Um, it uses about a fourth to a third, somewhere in there, of an amp. So, um, the reason that that matters is that will allow you to run a smaller solar panel. We don't have a ton of real estate up here on the top of the roof. As you've seen, the top of those uh, vents is not huge, so we need as small of a panel as possible also to keep the cost down. So this is the setup that we're going to be installing um, up on the roof today. Okay, here we are up on the roof. Now basically we need to install these panels on top of these roof vents. Um, I measured mine before and uh, got an appropriately sized panel just so that they wouldn't look ugly and be kind of hanging off and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some tabs uh, that I found um, at Home Depot and uh, I'm going to screw these down into the, the mount <coughs> or the uh, vent to provide a mount for the panel. Okay, we've got the brackets on and uh, they fit nice and snug. Um, now what we need to do is we need to drill holes in the sides of the solar panel so that we can mount this thing. And uh, I've got some, uh, some sheet metal screws to, to uh, connect them once I'm done. Okay, now we've got them mounted. What we've done, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we wanted to give a little bit of space underneath for cooling purposes for the panel, but not enough that, you know, it's going to catch a bunch of wind and kind of rip off. I mean, it's, it's on there. It's not going anywhere unless the whole uh, roof vent goes somewhere, but, you know, you don't want to take any chance, especially here in Texas with the wind and possible tornadoes. Um, then the last thing I'm going to do is poke the wire up underneath there's a grill underneath a, a, a screen that prevents bugs and critters from getting down in there, but I'm gonna put this down in there over the grill and then I, I can access it from underneath. I can cut a small hole and, and reach in there and grab, grab the wire and pull it through. Okay, so here's what they look like when they are attached. And uh, they almost look like they belong there, which is kind of cool. The mounts work perfectly, sheet, sheet metal screws work perfectly, everything's on there, they're, they're pretty secure, they're not going to go anywhere unless we get a tornado. Um, so I'm pretty pleased. Now the next step is we need to go up into the attic and pull the wires through and connect the rest of the components. Here's another shot of what they look like from the bottom of the roof. Now one thing to uh, keep in mind uh, you may or may not have seen from the video that I had some other uh, vents on some of the other sides of the roof. Um, this is the south facing roof. This is the one that's going to get the sun. So this is, you know, um, these are the ones that I chose to put them on because they're going to get the most sun and, uh, you know, the panels will work better. Okay, I apologize that it's kind of dark, but here we are in the attic. And uh, as you can see, got our wire just laying on top of the, um, the screen. And you can actually see the, the screws that are holding the solar panel 
on right there. And then the other one is over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small hole through the uh, screen and pull that wire through so we can get things wired up. Okay, so I've rigged up a little bit of a control center here for the two uh, systems. I've got the two charge controllers there, and then I've got a, this is really ghetto mounted for now. Got to figure out a better way to mount it, but I've got a little gauge where I can quickly look and see, it's a voltmeter, so I can see the voltage of the battery um, so I can monitor the, uh, the health of the system. And Okay, so now we've got the batteries wired up. And forgive my poor mounting. Uh, they're, I got a screw to hold them in place and some uh, zip ties just for now. Uh, I need to figure out a more permanent mounting situation, but this will work for now. And then I've got uh, everything wired up thus far except for the fans. So you can see that I'm showing the battery voltage with the voltmeters. And uh, that's a very useful thing to be able to glance at to see kind of what's going on, what's the story with your system. So let's get these fans mounted and wired up. Okay, before we mount the fans, we have to build some shrouds um, because the opening for the fan is a little bit bigger than the fan itself. So I'm going to measure and cut out kind of a square piece and then uh, cut out the, the middle hole and uh, do two of these for the two fans. All right, so here you can see everything's working. We've got that fan's running, and this fan is running, and voltages are looking good, one of the batteries is floating, one of the others is charging. This will work for now, just proving this concept, I'm going to test these. Um, I've actually got one of these rigged up with a, a thermostat, and then the other one I can't really show it, there's not much to show, but basically it's it's hooked up with a bimetallic strip that's going to act as a, a thermostat. Basically when it gets to 40 degrees Celsius, it will uh, allow the current through, and then that fan will turn on. So that one's running at 40 Celsius. This other one I've got is running at 35 Celsius, and I'm trying to determine uh, what voltage will kind of give me the best, not voltage, but what um, temperature will give me the best battery life and the best performance. So uh, I've got this um, temperature logger, te um, data logging the temperature uh, up here, which gets 130, 140 plus. So stay tuned for some of the data, but uh, that wraps this up and hopefully you've enjoyed watching this project. Thanks.